Hi, this is Aldi, and uh, here are my finds for Saturday, September 8, 2018, and one tiny find for the next day, today, Sunday, September uh, 9, 2018. So, most uh, of course, uh, yesterday, Saturday, was a great day, and uh, I went to various sales. I went to a sale, a yard sale, all I found was this thing for 50 cents, a scut towel rack, but we use it to put toilet paper in the bathroom. So that's, uh, yeah, needed it. Then I went to a collective sale where uh was a bunch of people selling all kinds of stuff. On the first table I bought uh, one LP and four 45s, plus, plus a picture sleeve, uh, an orphan picture sleeve, the record inside didn't belong. So let's see, I got this, I was in great shape, but uh, unfortunately these are just terrible uh, re-recordings by Little Richard, probably me of money, I guess. Uh, very unmotivated uh, <laughs> and terribly short uh, covers of his own songs. But I, I for a dollar, you know, wanted to. Uh, don't have tons of VJ uh, LPs either. 445s. I have here a Ginette Renault record. She, she's the greatest singer in uh, Quebec. But uh, her, her own record label is Melon Miel. And here I didn't know her. She made uh, English records and she actually translated her label how me do her. I thought it was so funny I got the record for that here I have Wanda Jackson don't see too many of her records Funnel of Love and uh, Right or Wrong forgot to get the titles of uh, the Ginette Renault one but I am the woman and from now on I haven't checked if these are covers of songs she did in French we'll see later uh, yeah so Funnel of Love Wanda Jackson in great shape I think I think this is my s now my second Wanda Jackson 45. I have here Marquis, Night Before, and uh, Last Night. Mm. Here I have this on 78. I don't know if I had it on 45 or not, so it was in okay shape. Black Slacks by Joe Bennett and the Sparkle, sparkle Tones. Sorry. The other side is uh, Boppin Rock Boogie. The empty sleeve I got is, uh, let me switch to French. Every time I have a French record, I'll speak French, and when it's in English, I'll speak in English. Si j'ai la pochette photo de Vol de Nuit par Céline Namaz, j'ai le disque déjà, il est pas rare, mais j'avais jamais vu la pochette. Malheureusement, quelqu'un a écrit dessus. Euh, c'est pas grave, j'ai déjà la pochette. So I got this for, uh, how much did I say? Two bucks. Probably one buck for this, and 25 cents for 45. Next, uh, next purchase around the same area was a double CD, si un double CD de, de René Claude, chante Luc Plamondon, Entre la Terre et le Soleil. C'est ça. Puis une coupe de tunes réenregistrées dedans, là, les nouvelles tunes, mais c'est pour la plupart des euh, rééditions d'albums qu'elle a fait où ce que c'est des tunes de Luc Plamondon. Ok. Euh, René Claude CD. Some guy had some Elvis stuff all overpriced and he had three EPs, all two dollars, all with whiting on the cover, but I got just this one because the record is in okay shape, not a first release. But uh, shape is great. Only problem is well, somebody wrote his, his their name here. But I've never seen this one, so it's uh, Elvis in the original soundtrack recording uh, Viva Las Vegas with four songs. So um, the other ones I don't remember were Golden Golden Records Volume One or Two or I don't know, but I decided to get that one just before a Record Hunter uh, got to them. Haha, <laughs> just in time, thirty seconds on time. Next, uh, Elvis EP, two dollars for oh yeah, yeah, that's an okay purchase I guess. For two dollars, one dollar each, I got Lou Rawls, All Things in Time, very common, but I realized I probably don't have this. I have the next one, unmistakably uh, Lou. That's the one with uh, You'll Never Find Another Love Like Mine. Which I, I know I have on 45, but I actually played the whole thing earlier today. Great album, just easy to like. Very good. Then, 12 inch maxi single of Madonna Vogue. I actually don't like it. Uh, I played it and uh, condition is there. And uh, yeah, I, I don't care for it. I prefer the original version. And the B-side is a, a remix of Keep It Together. It's okay, but the condition is... If dust, you know when dust had settled on the record for so long, you know you'll never get it out, even if you clean it with soap and water. Yeah, that's, that's what it sounds like. So after those two records, one dollar each, I got a double CD. J'ai un double CD d'Adamo, les grands succès d'Adamo. Je commence à avoir des doutes si je l'ai déjà ou pas. 
Mais il euh, y, y a 36 chansons, c'est bon pour l'auto. Mais je sais pas si c'est toutes des versions originales ou des remakes. Hmm, ça, ça me fait peur. Oh, euh, je viens de remarquer un inédit de 1966. Je t'aimais. 13e track. Ça sera peut-être intéressant de checker dans l'auto. Fait que ça, j'ai passé à deux pièces. Je l'ai baissé à 1 pour euh, le double Adamo. Uh, two CDs for a dollar there. And then I got the last purchase of that area, that collective sale, was two jazz CDs for 50 cents each. Sorry about that. I don't frame very well. I'm reading my sheet. So, 50 cents each. Astrid Gib G Gilberto, Gilberto album. I don't know how to pronounce it. And 25 tracks. Nina Simon, Jazzmaster, 17 Verve. Hope I don't have them already. I don't know by heart all the uh, jazz CDs I have. But a few scores I had in the past, if you remember my older videos. I got a whole bunch of them once. I don't remember what I have or not. So I, then I took the car and went to another cell. Let me see. And all I found there was a... Uh, it was 10 bucks. I marked 10 bucks. I got it for 5 bucks. It's one of those uh, cable boxes that I use. Uh, to, uh, to to of course have my catch the TV shows and also this is the one I got so it's a uh, uh, it's probably too dark to see anything Explorer H oh sorry 8300 HD plus and it had the remote stuck to it but it was kind of filthy so I'm t I took a risk it was 10 I brought it down to 5 okay so that's boring purchase there to show but I this is an inventory for me uh, then I moved on to a mobile home area and I was really happy I went there. First purchase. Well, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Got one of those. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, how do you call these in English again? In French, we call them a uh, sac banane. I forgot. I ha uh, my, I'm extremely tired, so I don't. I keep having blanks memory. Uh, Losses, I don't remember very easy words. But one of these things, unfortunately, I don't, something is weird about all the uh, the thing here, it's too short. Something needs to be cut off and then re sewn uh, differently so I, I can fit it around my waist. So I don't know, I, I have to fix that. It was two dollars, it seems to be in real leather. Uh, how do you call these things in English? I cannot, it pisses me off. I used to not remember in French, now I don't remember in English how are they called. Then I got uh, yeah, a $5 Pioneer DVD player. Because I record a lot of TV shows on my uh, Pioneer recorders there, uh, I'm talking about hundreds of DVDs piled up here. DVD-Rs that I burn TV shows. They play well only on the, uh, on the same brand players, so I stuck up on, on, I, uh, on players. And I'm starting to have a nice collection of Pioneer players. So this was five bucks with the remote. I don't know where the remote is. Uh, let me show the remote. I know it's right here. There we go. I have a remote here. It's a VXX2914. So I got that for five bucks. She asked for six, so I knew she wanted five, so I got it for five. What did I get after that? After getting that five dollar uh, player, I got... Uh, oh yeah. I'm not sure if I have it or not, so what the hell. Oh, the guy said... Oh, I asked for records. Uh, he said, I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I have four records. I got four records out of his home. And I bought this one because I'm not sure if I have it or not. I might have, but it's, it's very clean. The inner sleeve is, is in there. It's a Alan Parsons project, Eye in the Sky. I'm not sure if I have it or not, but anyway, for a dollar. So then, then somebody, one of those places I checked their, their things, told me that uh, a little bit further down, some guy has a lot of records. Apparently, somebody came back and the other way and s had records, and they said that there was a guy with a lot of records. So I went there, made three purchases. First of all, I saw the table covered with records. The first thing I saw was this: so, so some guy, some friend of his, who who um, was helping him out with a sale, had brought this, and this is from uh, employees of Saint Subar uh, Barbecue Restaurants, and they they have a cute mascot, Hubert. And uh, anything with the, the the image of that rooster, I had never seen this frisbee. Got got it for fifty cents. I was really happy to have that. That's the character you saw at the beginning of the video, like this. So that's pretty cool. I love this frisbee. Then uh, start uh, the fr then I wanted to start. He had records: thirty threes, forty fives, seventy eights. I mean, hundreds and hundreds, of thousands of records. So I start with the uh, several albums of of seventy eights. First thing he shows me are. 
and I know I knew they would be expensive because he, he, they were on the top of the pile, and uh, I, I knew he was going to throw an outrageous price at me. Now, uh, to set the right uh, tone, I didn't want to be too cheap on these, so uh, he had four picture discs, Vogue picture disc. One one is a sepia colored here. I used this argument to bring down the price of these four records. He wanted four uh, ten dollars for each. So a total of forty dollars. So I said, well, this one is not in color. So how about five dollars for that one? Thirty-five for all four. He said, sure. It, it's it is overpriced because they're all scratchy. Okay, and I'm used to getting these very slowly but surely. I'm starting to build a collection, and um, I usually buy these for fifty cents a dollar. You know, yard sale price for of regular records. I've been very lucky so far. But these I just I decided I don't know it's a spur of the moment thing. I was just happy to add four records I didn't already have. I can't wait to put them all together eventually when I do my inventory, but they're all over the place. So I got I decided to pay the frisbee and these things right away. Everything else I paid in one shot. I arrived there maybe around or anywhere between 9.30 and 10 a.m. I left that place at 1.43 p.m. He was waiting for me to finish checking all the 45s inside so he could <laughs> have lunch. Poor guy. Uh, and uh, I, I skipped lunch altogether uh, yesterday. And uh, I'll, uh, from that address, I guess, I got this stack of LPs. These two stacks of 45s, English and French. And uh, where the hell are they? Uh, Hmm. Where are they? Eight, eight, or well, nine. Oh, there they are. Nine seventy-eight. So one, the, the one with all the sleep is free because there was a chip on it. Gave it to me for free. LPs. Uh, there were six scratchy ones. Uh, ones I wanted to have less. Uh, uh, pay less for them. Those six I got for free. The rest, uh, all the LPs and seventy-eights were a dollar each. The forty-fives were only twenty-five cents. So uh, I got 99 singles. I chose 30 LPs, well LPs, 12 inch records. Some there are there are a lot of disco 12 inch in there, and I think there's a triple album. Everything is uh, just one record, and the 78s got eight 78s for a dollar each. Uh, add the add it all up. It's I think it's 62 mm, 62.75. Anyway, round it up to sixty dollars plus these six records for free and the one scratchy uh, chipped uh, 78 for free, which I already had. But mine, it, it's barely an upgrade from the one I have, and this one has a stupid sticker. My Special Angel by Bobby Helms. The other side is a country song I don't care for. Standing at the end of my world, got that for free. The free LPs. That's yeah. This is a. Ça c'est dur à trouver. Je l'ai pas cette petite disque-là. C'est le cœur d'une génération. Mais le long jeu, je, je l'ai jamais eu, maudit. Puis j'ai déjà 3,45 tours extraits de ce long jeu-là. Fait qu'il était pas question de payer de gros prix pour, tu sais, quand il y a 10 chansons. C'est l'album qui a pillé les cheveux. Euh, ça venait d'une bibliothèque parce que j'ai arraché l'enveloppe qu'il y avait là. Euh, je pense qu'il y en a un autre qui a encore l'enveloppe. Ouais, c'est ça. Ça vient d'une bibliothèque. Ben, pas tous les disques, mais quelques-uns. Ceux qui sont magagnés, en tout cas, que j'ai pris. Fait que ça, c'est ça gratuit, faut pas euh, battre le prix. Deux, deux journaux à l'idée que j'avais pas, qui sont magané. Oui, je sais pas si c'est un, un album éponyme de 1969. C'est celui avec Je suis né dans la vie dessus. Euh, c'est celui qui a. Euh... Non, c'est l'autre. Puis celui-là s'appelle Vie. Oui, il, il est encore plus gratuit que l'autre. Hein. Les deux sont pas mal rayés. Encore là, le coin, je sais pas si où le coin. celui-là, c'est celui que Jésus-Christ. Ouais, c'est celui que Jésus-Christ. Je pense que je l'ai en, en 45 tours. Ah, c'est là qu'ils ont pris les photos qu'on voit sur l'album double de plein feu. Ah, ok, je comprends là. Je viens de réaliser ça. Ça, c'est un disque qui voit absolument rien. Une histoire d'amour, Shirley Théo. C'est un disque de Shirley Théo avec des scratchs dessus. C'est parce que je vais avoir, je l'ai en 45 tours, mais je voulais l'avoir en long jeu. Un goût de soleil. Qui est sûrement un cover, mais c'est la version que je jouais à radio quand j'étais petit. Fait que euh, les autres, je m'en fous, moi c'était pour un goût de soleil, mais il y a malheureusement un hairline dedans. Je l'ai pas fait jouer, je sais pas si c'est joué ou pas, mais c'était gratuit. Celui-là, ça m'a fait de la peine qu'il soit en mauvais état parce que c'est rare. Tout collectionneur de Gainsbourg savent ça, c'est quoi cet album-là. C'est la bande sonore du film Anna, musique de Serge Gainsbourg, paroles et musique de Serge Gainsbourg, je crois. Ouais, c'est ça. Ok, les paroles, sont, les photos sont cool. Mais il y a, il y a des méchantes hairline scratch dessus, puis en plus, il est mono. 
Fait que ça, c'était un autre affaire de ce son. Si elle était stéo, ça m'aurait fait encore plus de peine. Il est mono, tu sais. Fait que la pochette elle, 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 elle est en pas pire et tout en tout. Et finalement, and finally, for the last free record I got in the LPs, I got Frank Sinatra, uh, Nancy Sinatra Country My Way. Record is scratchy. Record bottom is split all uh, three quarters of it. It was free. And the free 78 I've already shown, so let's get started because uh, we're up to 15 minutes. We'll show the 78s and I'll cut into part two uh, going into the. Uh, I'm trying not to make the videos too long. So, <coughs> oh, I flipped these over. I only listened to one of each side and I don't know what I've listened so far. I'll have to figure it out later. Okay. So the 78s were my favorite finds. I'll have to switch to French because most are in uh, French. But uh, three of those are really uh, worth a lot in Quebec. They're worth way more than a buck. Uh, two of them that are coming up are uh, Madame Edouard Baldic. Her real name is uh, Mary Travers. She's she's a uh, one big first record star of Quebec. She made her own uh, uh, traditional reels, or I don't know how to say that in English. The the reel. Uh, songs from the 20s and late 20s and 30s. She died in 41. <coughs> but that's not the what's on the first uh, record of the first pile here. Um, ici, j'ai un disque de Eugène Daigneau, La Bouteille de Rhum. On connaît aussi cette chanson-là sur le titre Pour boire du rhum, pour boire du rhum. Mais il est sur un album double de 1915 sur Promotion. Tu sais, l'album de le, le, La Chère des Fêtes, là, quelque chose de même. Ça, c'est Eugène Daigneau, là, c'était le, 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 le premier acteur comédien qui a joué euh, Père Ovid euh, dans les belles histoires des pays d'en haut, avant d'être remplacé par son fils. Le bord, c'est tape la navette. <coughs> euh, ici, j'ai un des trois beaux disques d'Abodic, puis ils sont en bon état pour ça. Puis des premiers, deux, deux des trois disques d'Abodic, c'est des premiers pressages. Parce qu'ils sont pressés à Toronto avec le mot New Process en dessous. Ça, c'est première édition. Mon vieux jaloux, chanson qui a été reprise par euh, François Pérus sur un de ses albums. Euh, Puis la pitoune, ma chanson préférée de la Bolduc. Ce qui est vraiment débile, c'est qu'au début de la semaine, je me suis mis à voir cette chanson-là comme verre d'oreille. Puis là, je me suis mis à penser, quand on est en d'avoir 78 tours. Pouf! Voilà, une semaine après, je le trouve en papier et J'ai fait jouer là. Pas beaucoup de groove pour ce que c'est là. Je suis pas mal, pas mal content d'avoir trouvé ça. Ça, ça a fait ma journée, ça. Best find of the day. Euh, et celui-là, c'est un repressage. On peut voir un repressage des fabricants à compo, petite étiquette, des étiquettes silver, argenté. Ça, c'est vraiment années 50. Un petit bonhomme avec un nez pointu. Puis, euh, chez ma tante Gervais, que, que j'aime, ben, en fait, <rire> j'aime le remake, euh, le, le cover qu'a fait euh, euh, Marthe Fleurant. Mais j'aime aussi l'original, bien sûr, de la Bodic. Puis, euh, je pense qu'il y a un autre Bodic qui s'en vient. Je sais pas, oh, ils sont mélangés. Oh, let's go. On va y aller direct. Regardez donc Mouman. Premier pressage. La servante. Pas mal bon. Et ça, ça a fait ma journée. And might as well go to the last French one, which is the, the weakest purchase of the stack. Le, un sketch comique euh, de, de, euh, enregistré de façon acoustique, donc le son est très mauvais, on entend très mal. Euh, donc c'est, c'est, c'est pas plus tard que 1925 ou avant 1925. Le droit de vote pour les femmes par euh, Madame Tremblay, Monseigneur, M. Germain. Je suis pourtant dit Monseigneur, non, c'est Monsieur Germain. Euh, puis le nom de mon père, de son père, le nom de son père, numéro 12005. Le son est très mauvais, on a la misère à comprendre ce qu'ils disent. Aussi. C'est pour ça que je ne collectionne pas bien ben les disques acoustiques, excepté quand c'est du Canadien français, ou euh, peut-être euh, Carl Stewart euh, euh, qui fait des personnages de... Comment il s'appelle déjà? Uncle Josh. Yeah, I'm explaining here, uh, this, is what, this is the only acoustic 78 I bought today, uh, I mean yesterday. I'm not crazy about the sound of these records, so I only collect French-Canadian stuff. And Uncle Josh, the character Uncle Josh by Carl Stewart, and sometimes maybe some Al Jolson. That's about all the acoustic records I usually buy. I, uh, the three other seven eights I have here are in English, a uh, dollar each. This this is so so. Little Pal by Al Jolson. This side is better. I'm in seventh heaven. It seems to be from the thirties, I would say. I haven't looked up the date. These two are much more fun. Ah, this one I was so happy to get because I collect uh, George Olson and his music. Actually, any any. Uh, Victor VE from the late 20s. As long as there's a fox run on it, usually I'll be glad. I'll be happy. I have a whole, uh, pretty close to a full milk crate uh, uh, worth of these records. 
I made some compilation of the uh, on real to real and I got very good. Uh, man, I, this video was almost 20 minutes. Doing the raccoon, and the other side is it goes like this by uh, Johnny Johnson and his Statler Pennsylvanians. Pennsylvania, yeah, exactly. Vocal refrain by Bob. Uh, damn. Some guy. Yes. I need new glasses. And final, final 78. Ted Weems. I think it's Ted Weems and his orchestra on both sides. Yes. You're the cream in my coffee. And uh, anything your heart desires. So uh, that's it for this video, uh, go to part 2 for the uh, LPs and then the 45s and then the rest of the day.